Hi, Papa. What are you doing there? Hi, baby. I am making a petroleum special cake for Cinebird Open Day. Petroleum? What is that? Petroleum is kind of oil. It's used to make a lot of different products that people can use in their daily life, such as gasoline for our cars, paint, and plastic. Amazing! Papa, we can find it. We can find it in under the ground. Come here, I will show you. Look here, baby. The structures of the ground, it looks like this cave, and it's covered by the sand. There are so many materials and resources inside there, and petroleum is hidden deep there under the ground. So we need to take it out. How can we take it out? We have to dig it out by drilling and take it out to the surface. Look baby, I am cutting the cake. It's like drilling in the ground. This is the black gold petroleum. You have to ask me so many times, what's your job? My job is to find the petroleum and take it out. Wow, wonderful! Welcome to Saudi Arabia. Today it's an open day of Sinobic Service. My name is Amr Al Yusuf, a Saudi employee work for Sinobic Service. Right now, I am standing in front of our head office building in Al Khuba. As it's known to all of us, Saudi Arabia has the largest reservoir in the world, which played a major role in development of our country and invited a lot of different companies from different countries like Sinobic. In order to take advantage of the oil, we need to get it from under the ground. And this, it's not an easy process. It needs a lot of effort. After that, the oil will be sent to refineries to return to usable products, such as diesel, gas gasoline, lubricating oil, and other products. So today, we will see how Sinobic work here in Saudi Arabia. Now we're doing a 3D seismic survey. We use very heavy equipment to stimulate the ground vibration, and then we receive the record, the reflected, the reflected signal. After that, this signal will be processed and analyzed by a geophysical professional to find out the oil location. Beside me, here, uh, these are signal receiver by Jifun. Uh, in our work, we, we call this receiver our Jifun. Jifun, uh, our team need every daily out uh, Jifun in very big area. It's about uh, 200 square kilometers. All and pick up them after finish work. Uh, all this uh, hard working must be done by hand every day in a desert. So the vibes stimulate uh, the ground, the phone receive this, the signal. This is the idea, Amri. They are daily walking distance about uh, 15 kilometers. I am very proud to be one of this uh, team because it's very important uh, to help Kingdom to find out uh, gas and oil. Uh, HEC is really a big challenge for us, uh, working uh, in the desert. And uh, uh, we always take HEC as a, a highest uh, priority job for us. It is hundreds of kilometers from uh, here to the nearest city. We have around uh, a thousand person working here. It is dozens of kilometers. Uh, from the camp to work inside. The temperature can be up to 50 uh, degrees Celsius uh, during the daytime 
uh, to avoid the this uh, or the, the hard uh, the hard heating in the middle noon we start uh, at four o'clock every morning all vehicles have a gps uh, tracking system and uh, radio so we can uh, monitor it is uh, location and moving and keep uh, connected uh, all time After nearly four hours of the driving and going through all the safety procedures and COVID-19 prevention requirements, we arrived at the site inside. As you can see behind me, the drilling site of SB121. Let's go inside and check how these people work. Right here, we have Mr. Basha Belkasek, Aramco Supervisor of SB121. How long have you been working with SB121? Almost three and a half years since uh, September 2017. Oh, wow. What do you think about this team? SB121 is performing uh, excellent. Uh, almost uh, they finished 6.4 years uh, LTI free. And also now, SP121 is one of the best five rigs among all contractors, rigs working in Saudi Arabia with Aramco. And this uh, excellent achievement didn't come like that. It comes with the hard work and it comes uh, from uh, the high level of the operation excellence from Aramco uh, Southern Area Oil and Gas Drilling Department, from uh, the good leadership of K personnel working on SP121. Uh, Coming also this achievement from the hard work of drilling crews who work hard and who are following our instructions to implement safety and Aramco rules. And don't forget also uh, Sinopec uh, support. They are giving excellent support to implement or to achieve this uh, good performance. What advice can you give to this team to improve their performance? When I start working uh, with the SP121 on September 2017, most of the crew were green, uh, green hands. Uh, they, are, they were new in our field in drilling. But I had a challenge with them. To work together to be one of the best tricks in Aramco, in Aramco leagues. And Alhamdulillah we did it. We are here under this very hot sun. Today, we have Ahmed, AD, the assistant driller from SB121. Assalamu alaikum, Ahmed. Alaikum assalamu. Kaif al hal? Khair alhamdulillah. Kaif halak? Alhamdulillah, Rabbil alamin. Ahmed, you are Saad Hafar. Yes. Yes. Can you tell us about the daily work of your daily work? Yes, the daily work of our daily work. We start with the beginning of the day. We start with the meeting of the work. Every person who is a supervisor will be able to do the work. عشان يعرف نظام السيفتي حقه وكيف يعمل العمل الشغل الدوام حقه تمام بترتيب وكفاءة جيدة وكلنا كجرو واحد تيم واحد مش طال هذا أحمد وش العوامل اللي حسيت إنها أثرت في تطور ساعدت في تطور والله ساعدت في تطورنا هذا الريج مانجر والصبر فايزر عطونا فرص نتدرب ونتعلم ونستفيد من تطوراتهم من خبراتهم وبذلك الأفضل كل من جاي يبي يصير الأفضل أحمد do you know why we have such a good drilling operation because we're strong my friend you are right we are a big part of it but beside that we have a research and development center which located in Bahrain supporting our operation okay you take me with you let's go
This center was established in May 2017 by Sinopec Group and it, this building is built on around 4,800 square meter. Mm -hmm. So the main purpose of establishing the center was to provide targeted research for oil and uh, gas industry. Okay, so as you can see here, we have a small model over here. Mm -hmm. Basically, what uh, Sinopec has done is we have brought the latest technology in oil and gas industry. Okay, this is the stimulation lab mm -hmm. of our uh, wow. R&D center. Mm -hmm. He is Dr. Dutal, the manager Hi. of nice laboratory. Nice to meet you. This is engineer Abdullah Al Adi. Nice to meet you, Abdullah. Hi. Hi. Here we have our course loading system wow. and as you can see this technology is very advanced. Okay, here now we are in our cementing lab. Right now we have engineer Abdullah here, he's working on the equipment. Let's see what he's doing. Can you please give us a brief about what you're doing here? Yeah, this uh, high pressure, high temperature pressurized consistometer. Actually, this instrument is used to measure the thickening time of a cement. Mm -hmm. Also, we have a pressurized carrying chamber. It is another instrument used in cement laboratory. Uh, the purpose of using this instrument is to measure the hardness of cement. As you saw, it was an amazing tour. All people working here are talented. Sinovic work for high technology oil service. And this required a huge number of skilled, well-trained, and educated manpower. Actually, Sinovic established a training school for more than 10 years. It trained a huge number of workers especially Saudi young people. So, let us go and check this place out. We are here in Sinovic Training Center, which is located in Gig City. It's the first overseas training center of Sinovic. So, let's go inside and check this place out. We are here with the training manager, Mr. Saeed Amjad Ali. So, hello. Yeah, hello. Mohsen, how are you? Fine, and you? Uh, Alhamdulillah, I'm good. Oh, what you are doing? I'm trying to write some of the Chinese words here. Ah, so it's wow. a Chinese calligraphy. Yeah, this oh, is it. Okay, it's great. Yeah. Mohsen, can you tell me about your experience here on Sinovic? Yes, of course. I start my career from Rustabad, this is the beginning. Okay. Then I moved up to Florman. Mm -hmm. After the Florman, I, I, I came here in the training center for Sinovic mm -hmm. in Abgeek city. Mm -hmm. Then I take some courses until I moved up to Dirigman. Then I come back here again one more time. Mm -hmm. Then I training assistant driller. Then third time I came here also to take my wheel control course and I passed, Alhamdulillah I passed. Then I, I am now, my current position is an assistant driller and I am, and I am looking forward to be a driller in, in the future inshallah. What do you think about our training center? Uh, I got the, a lot of courses here. Also there is a good teachers here. They teach me a good knowledge here. Good, good. Do you like it here? Yeah, it's okay also, it's fine. And it's uh, friendly also. We have bedrooms here, we can sleep here. We can eat also, there's a kitchen here. Better energy, better life. Ciao! Beside that, Sinovic has collaborated with Saudi Arabia Drilling Academy, which located nearby our training center. So, let's go there and check the place out. We are here with Mr. Mutlaq Asbay, the MD of SADA, Saudi Arabia Drilling Academy. Assalamu alaikum, Mr. Hayak Allah, Hui Amir, Sal Barak. Kayak Allah, Allah, Sal Barak. Hayak Allah, Sal Barak. Mr. Mutlaq, what's your thought on the future cooperation between SADA and Sinovic? Amir, thank you very much for uh, visiting us today in Abkhaz, the uh, Saudi Arabian Drilling Academy, SADA. I would like to thank the Sinovic management team for uh, putting us within this program. 
Uh, Sinabek had been a uh, partner of the Saudi Relang Academy since uh, 2016. They had been a board member and also a support here in subject matter experts and also in the port. And they had been extending uh, support in uh, Saudization and in also sending their uh, trainees to the Saudi Arabian Drilling Academy, uh, graduating the Saudi Arab uh, high school students from the school here and putting them in the field in the rigs and services of uh, Sinabek company. And this is similarly to other companies of services and drilling that are working in Saudi Arabia and dealing with the Saudi Arabia Drilling Academy. After one day of touring, we have visited seismic team, drilling site, R&D center, and employee training school. Now, we understand the whole process of oil exploration and production, and how Sinobic people are working and living here in Saudi Arabia. With further development of oil technology, Sinobic service would further commit to Saudi Vision 2030 by helping to provide better energy to Saudi Arabia for people's better life.